Learn to film with Piper. Today, Piper and I are going to be teaching you some methods to improve your media arts projects and videos. This first video shows an excellent app that keeps all videos in widescreen. This iPhone app is called Horizon. When using this app, you film widescreen regardless of how the camera is turned. This is a great app for people that are just starting out because it helps make the picture stay level when you're moving the phone around while filming. The one thing that can be an issue is that it does make the picture zoom in and out when you flip the phone angle. The last film in this series shows what happens when you are not using the Horizon app and you move your phone to a different angle. You will notice that Piper goes sideways when I move the camera to horizontal. This is usually not what people want to happen. It is important to make sure you are focusing on the most important part of the picture. On this video, Piper is the most important part. You can see that it starts out nicely focused on Piper and it is clear, but then when I click elsewhere on the screen, she has far too much sun exposure. By tapping on her, I was able to focus the picture again and get rid of all of the glare. I can then bring the glare back if I touch in another section of the screen. Using filters are a great way to make videos have some flair. I love gray scale videos. It makes them look timeless. When you film in slow motion, you need to make sure that you are ready and focused on your subject right away. In this video, you will see Piper move so slowly down the stairs that you can actually see every step she takes. I absolutely love filming action shots in slow motion. When you want to zoom in on a subject, you need to use two fingers. You place the two fingers on the screen, and if you pull them apart, you will be able to zoom right in on a section of the picture. And then if you do the opposite and bring your two fingers closer together, you're able to bring the screen back out again and zoom back out. When you make a green screen board, you need to make sure that you have it big enough to cover the full filming area. If you are doing a floor shot, then you will also need to cover the floor with green as well. In this picture, Piper is sitting in a completely green corner. Every wall and floor surface is covered with green tablecloths. It is a good idea to make sure that the surface is free of wrinkles so that your background turns out well. Another important tip is to make sure that you do not have any green on your subject because if you do, then when you bring it to your green screen maker, you may have missing parts of your subject. Green screen videos are my favorite. You can make pictures and movies look professional. In this movie, I made Sky fly through the air. I did this without having her even move. She just sat there nice and still. And as I walked around, I moved the camera up and down slightly so it looked like she was flying through the air.